Another thing to note about bringing your cockpit. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, the stem has been working out really well. Zitto. Very natural. Or the length of it, now that my handlebars are further back. And I can say that it is definitely, uh, definitely making me feel the ground and the road. The palm of my hand goes into this little nub nicely. Talking about my wild man. Keep it still there. <laughs> How I was feeling that a bit through the frame. I mean, because the, the stem is shorter, I guess it has less less vibration resistance and it's closer to the frame. But I mean, would 30 millimeters really make that much of a difference with feeling this? That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's just because I guess you just feel everything with your hands a little bit more with shorter stems, which really makes sense. It's just, uh, it just surprised me because I also had my brakes not set correctly and a bit loose. Even the brake is a little bit soft and that's... Oh, you know what? I guess that makes sense. <laughs> oh my god. Bruh. Of course. Of course the brake would be a little bit soft when you set your stem back. Because there's so much more slack now. Because it used to be snug basically against the head tube this brake cable, but that might be it. It's just because it's shorter, dampens the vibrations less, much like if you have a, uh, if your seat post is sticking out more, you get a little bit more of that damping effect. So a combination of a few things, as well as just having the bike feel different from having shorter stem, all those, the combination of all those things kind of threw me off and it made me uh, think a little bit more about the road feel than, uh, than I think I normally would have otherwise. Look at that. Yeah, you cannot climb that. You got a road runner. He's, he's running along the little path. Like there's a tiny path along the side there. I don't know who made it, but I guess some people walk up there. It's like a tiny trail. Maybe animals do too, but I know people do as well. Um, because there's a way to get out of here by going up that hill along that path. It's pretty hard to bike through the entire way. But, um, because some parts are just sketch, man. Like, they're way too tight and you might just fall, fall down the hill. And it's steep enough that you can't catch yourself if you fall down that hill. You will just fall and probably break a few things and uh, probably also have a bunch of cactus spines in your spine. your spinal cord. Oh God, look at that. Why am I doing this with one hand? I guess because it's fun. I'm going kind of slow, like six miles an hour. Oh, I cannot go through here. This is all sand. This is deep sand. Uh, yeah. So, so this bike, not this bike, this stem. Pretty nice, I like it. I, I'm not really into branding and stuff. But I actually kind of like their logo. Like if I have to have a logo, that logo looks pretty cool. I mean, I don't, I don't know about cool. It looks, it looks fine. <laughs> it's just cause it's really stylized, right? And it's very, um, it's kind of artistic. I wouldn't say it's very artistic. And then the, uh, their trademark and it is not on the bottom. So if you wanted to run this stem uh, seven degrees down, for a lower stance then uh, you won't have this you won't have any of this riding here yeah it's 
been working out beautifully, honestly. Hmm. So I think I got this stem for just under $10 off AliExpress and as a really good deal. In terms of the stem being twitchy, of course I did exaggerate that in the beginning. And here, as you're seeing on the screen, I am just testing the stem. I'm kind of moving it, just doing my thing, playing around. And I actually do find that the slight twitchiness of a 60 millimeter stem versus a 90 millimeter is quite nice. I, I prefer a more responsive, I suppose is probably a better word to use. I prefer a more responsive bicycle handling. But do bear in mind that that only happens at low speeds when you're doing low speed maneuvers turning with the handlebars. But if you're going at any sort of speed above, let's say, maybe 8 to 10 miles per hour, you won't really feel more responsiveness because you're not really turning the handlebars. You're utilizing counter steering. 